It's the gods within you. My little inspiration for today. So make sure you have your chart, have your chart out. And I want to have you contemplate looking at your design, these planets, like gods. They are the energetic imprints of what formed our body, imprinted our body, as well as our mind and its conscious personality construct. What you think you are, who you think you are, is over on the conscious side of the imprinting. So going back to your chart, if you look at just the black, this is what your mind thinks or identifies with as who you are. Now we as projectors tend to get conditioned to think that we have to be something and figure out ourselves specifically, because of course, the only thing, the two things that are common place between all projectors is that we don't have the sacral center defined. So our mind gets conditioned to think that we have to be the one to do all of this all by ourselves. And also, because we don't have a motor connected up to the throat, all in all cases, with all projectors, the mind might think that we have to make things happen, that we have to just do it, go for it. And the global background frequency that is shifting is bringing in this energy that makes us think that we have to do it all, all by ourselves. If it's to be, it's up to me. So I must go and do this right now. And that's very much at odds with what this design as an example, mine is really all about. But this is just a small, small, small portion this process over here, the personality side. If I could, I would change the software to make it show that this over here is this big because the form dominates, okay? It's way more heavy as a, a form of what is creating our form. So the form dominates is a way of, of saying that. And what we're going to take a look at are these gods within us, the imprinting of the design, 88 degrees of the sun's movement before you were born. On the design side is your unconscious form imprinting. And when you were born, we have this other imprint, your natal imprint of your mind, the mind and who it thinks it is. Now the mind is contaminated by everything that is open in the chart. And I'm using this side primarily, just the conscious personality, because the design, the personality is unaware of it. So in reality, everything that's open here, white, when you split apart the chart, you can do this with my mechanics or um, my body graph. When you split apart the chart, you just see this, the mind gets conditioned by everything. So look at this, I'm gonna go like this. The mind thinks, all of this inconsistently is important for it to make a decision. And it completely takes for granted that it, ha it doesn't trust its own personal process because guess what? We're projectors. We focus in on the other, you know, so we, we take in the other, our aura focuses, penetrates and absorbs. It takes in the other with this, penetrating aura and we're choiceless about that it's whoever you're with you know in conversation in aura all the time so your mind takes in that other person's energetic frequency identifies with it over identifies with it and thinks that it has to do that thing so if with you're with generators you you amplify their busy sacral energy and then you get exhausted and burnt out if you're with a manifester you amplify their ability to make it happen. And then you end up getting bitter because you're making decisions with somebody else's design, not yours. So this is why strategy and authority is so important in the beginning to make sure you have a solid baseline of that before you go into this deeper layer of looking at design from a more holistic perspective. All of us have a, a differing amount of cognitive potential as well as attunement to how our mind functions, our brain body system functions. And going back to the advanced chart, if you look at your design, if you have your advanced chart, 
the people who have the hardest time with identifying with their correct mental cognition are going to be people like myself because the brain body system this over here on the design side is Ra would call it fat brain homogenized from birth and it's much harder for you to grasp this stuff over here so please don't skip any steps if you decide to go and you know maybe get the coursework from Jovian archive and self-study don't try to skip steps if you are a right brain body system really start over here on the body side and that's first I'm going to talk to you about the planetary activation so let's go back to that meet the gods the gods within you think of them like they could be little voices that speak through you they could be um, things that drive you that force or push you or pull you or move you they are part and parcel of how we experience our unique differentiated um, life's fulfillment each of us these gods within us these planets within us because of this design that is inherent within our mind and our form this unique design that we have com comes together and creates the structure of our life that never changes i was once um, very confused about this whole concept of no choice you know the choicelessness the being our grace or the helplessness being if we could surrender to the form in this body this vehicle you know how, how does that work with free will my mind back in 2015 was very confused and so I asked a friend who was going to see a channeler why does this I don't get it why does this work how does this work and uh, the channeler was Bashar if you know of him and the student my friend asked him so why did this teacher teach no choice and the Bashar went into his normal rant of you know you could go backwards forwards skip steps you choose how you go down this hallway of life and then he said oh wait a minute wait a minute something more is coming through and then the man said he spoke through you know this teacher said we may in fact recognize this, this teacher said this because the structure never changes so now I get it now I get it why because this structure this body graph this nine centered vehicle it does not change your imprinting from birth here on the design side that doesn't change this over here on the personality side that doesn't change now I'm not saying your body graph doesn't have experiences you're going through life cycles every year every month in fact mo lunar cycles solar cycles you have larger life cycles and indeed there are even the smaller cycles of the smaller inner planets those gods being renewed within you and it is the structure that never changes this the thing that is unique to you from birth that never changes throughout your life it is your design your strategy and your personal process of authority that never changes it's the only thing that is absolutely utterly unique to you that will never change in this life now there are aspects of you that might mature over some time yeah depends on what activations which planets which gods are speaking using you as a mouthpiece speaking through you obviously we all have um, evolutionary processes cycles of experience that mature wisdom potentials when you have a, a six anywhere in the design it takes some time for that 50 years for that to grow up in a sense Mars that God may or may not mature you know it's an immaturing energy dynamic within you but it's mutating you from the inside it's mutating you either through your temperature Mars on the design side or it's mutating you from your mind Mars on the personality side and this is the thing that breaks you free from the Rock calls it the diamond of the self or the mundane plane okay Mars is the thing that mutates us either from the design side or the personality side 
So that God within you, paying homage to him, <laughs> is by just simply aligning to your strategy and authority. Rather than making decisions from out there in the openness, but placing it within the integrity of your vehicle, your form. So it's in this place that oftentimes people get confused and go, wait a minute, wait a minute. I thought you said, Lavina, this is your personality. And so why would you trust this aspect of you rather than the design, which we can clearly see has its own thing going on here? It's true. I'm a basic split and I have a personality consciousness that has its own strength, while the form has a di very different strength, different circuitry, different planetary activations, different everything. And so why would I trust this over that when we are not here to make decisions from our mind? It is because when you look at down at your design, the design is the hardware. If we could liken ourselves to a computer, the design is the hardware and the mind is the software. So the body, the body being the life that you live, the body is doing its own thing, living its own life. And the personality is subject to running its software running on that hardware. So if your hardware is fucked up because you haven't been making decisions in alignment with the way that you are determined to take in life, your mind is basically screwed. You will never get to that place of full awareness and awakening if your hard drive is gunked up or it's failing. And most people coming to this cannot understand, will not be able to grasp themselves intellectually from a self-reflected consciousness place, i.e. the witness consciousness, because their form is misaligned. And it takes time, seven years, a cellular process of renewal was initiated within you the moment you got that foundation analysis or went through your living your design awakening experience and you made the commitment to yourself to make decisions in alignment with your decision making strategy honoring your process of interfacing with life strategy wait for mutual recognition and then further for a clear invitation and then further still if you are a split like me, it takes longer to integrate information from the outside. If you are emotional like me, it takes longer to have that process of awareness go through its cycles, its evolutionary cycles of experience to come to clarity. And so some of you are even more sensitive, even further still, and you are part of a process of going through the whole experience coming out the other side and then looking back upon it and then coming to an awareness about it. So there's so much waiting built into some of our designs.